Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very serious topic to discuss with you. Uh, it came to my attention the other day when I was playing a horror game at my sister's house and with my niece and daughters. The game we were playing was Watch Your Mouth. I don't know if any of you have played it before. Um, I'll get to that a little bit later, but uh, it really brought out some serious questions to me as a, a linguist. Let me just highlight my credentials uh, as a linguist. I, back in 1980, let's see, maybe 83, I had one semester course in the University of Utah in linguistics. My friend Douglas Dixon was also in that class. You can vouch for my attendance in that class. He's uh, from the old neighborhood, and at this point he, I think, is living in Princeton, in New Jersey. And he's probably a world-renowned pianist composer. He was a child prodigy. Anyways, he can vouch for my credentials in this area. Language is, is such a vital part of our existence. And why do the different languages sound the way they do? And why are they so different from Asia to Europe to South America to Russia? Let me just also list my credentials as a, a linguist. And I've lived in Japan for about 10 years. Been speaking Japanese for about almost 38 years. I also had some junior high French. Once, before going to Germany with my, my family, I studied up on the German language for a couple of weeks before I left. Italian, my mother taught me how to speak to 10. Korean, a flight attendant taught me how to say fasten your seat belts. Vietnamese, back in the 80s, a co-worker taught me to say hello. Chinese, I took two years in college studying uh, Chinese. And uh, I think at some point I'm, when I spent a day in Russia, I think somebody talked to me on the street. Anyway, as you can see, I, uh, I've had much exposure to foreign languages. And so you can see I've been around language. Something uh, very interesting to me. Can you speak and convey the meaning in your language without using your lips? Um, playing this game, Watch Your Mouth, I, I discovered how difficult in English it is to convey your meaning without the use of your lips. However, in Japanese, when I was living there, I lived there 10 years, I came across many of a person who didn't even look like they were moving their lips and uh, perfectly conveyed their meaning. So what profound meaning does this hold in the balance of world powers, the balance of culture? The, I think there's a key there. And I'd like to further investigate that, further uh, delve into that a little bit further, yes. So what I've decided to do and no, I don't have the the game uh, <laughs> Watch Your Mouth with me. I do have uh, a means of achieving the same and uh, without the uh, tool that's used in the game, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But what I've decided to do is take a famous quote, in this case a, a, a quote that was made by, or actually it was part of a speech made by Winston Churchill. Uh, about the state of Russia at the time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say this in very various different languages thanks to the help of uh, Google Translate. I'm going to say it in very many different languages. First, using my mouth as normal, and second time, employing the tool or a similar tool that is used in the game, Watch Your Mouth. And I'd like to ask you to ponder as you listen to me. Ponder the deeper meaning. What does this mean for humankind? Does it mean a bright future for us? One of coming together while maintaining our cultures? Or does it mean a, a bigger wedge driven in between our cultures? I don't think any of us want a vanilla society where all the languages and cultures go away. But we do want a certain amount of understanding, unity, certain amount of mutual respect. And that is the goal of my little linguistic endeavor here. Now, bear with me.
me, as I say this quote many times in different languages, but uh, I think it'll prove uh, quite enlightening. Thank you. Give me just one moment to prepare. First of all, I to kind of tie into my uh, previous post I had on YouTube, it was actually a parody of a commercial. I'd like to employ the voice of, or an impression of the voice of actor Ray Liotta, famous wise guy in the movies. Uh, I'd like to employ his uh, parody of his accent, use it, quoting Winston Churchill. And then I will do the same thing, employing a similar device to that which is found in Watch Your Mouth. I, uh, I cannot forecast to you uh, the action of Russia. It's a riddle wrapped in a mystery uh, inside an enigma. But perhaps there is a key. That key is Russian national interest. Okay, now let me try that, employing the linguistic device used in. Oh, watch your mouth. I cannot be forecast to you. The action in Russia is a riddle. It has the issue inside of the nigga. But perhaps there is a key. That key is Russian national interest. Next, I will do it one more time in English, in English accent, trying to uh, approximate the accent of Winston Churchill himself. I cannot forecast to you the action of Russia. It is a whistle wrapped in mystery inside an enigma. But perhaps there is a key. That key is Russian national interest. Now with the watch of all I cannot talk us to the action of Russia. It's a whistle wrapped in mystery inside an enigma. But perhaps there is a key. That key is Russian national interest. Now let's go to Japanese, actually. I'm more comfortable with Japanese. Watashi wa Russia no kodo o yosoku suru koto ga deki masen. Sore wa nazo ni tsuzumareta nazo no naka no nazo desu. Shikashi, osaraku kagi ga arimasu. Sono kagi wa Russia no koku eki desu. Now, notice. Even if you don't speak, speak Japanese, I can probably almost get all of this out quite clearly without Japanese. It's just that kind of language. Now let's try Chinese. Wu 这是一个从忙上瘾失败的意义 Let's try French Je ne peux pas vous prévoir l'action de l'Ursi C'est une énigme, un vrai de paix, un mystère à l'intérieur d'une énigme, mais peut-être il y a une clé. Cette clé est l'intérêt national russe. Je ne fais pas revoir l'action de la Russie. C'est un énigme en relation dans l'histoire. À l'intérieur d'une énigme, peut-être il y a une clé. Cette, cette clé est l'intérêt. Nacional Russo. Ok, let's try Spanish. No puedo predecir celes la acción de Rusia. Es un enigma envuelto en un misterio dentro de un enigma, pero quizás haya una clave. Esa clave es el 
interés nacional ruso. No puedo decirles la acción de Rusia. Es un enigma en el electro, un misterio dentro de un enigma, pero quizás haya un lado. Ese clave es el interés nacional ruso. Let's try Italian. Non posso prevederti l'azione della Russia. È un indovinello avvolto in un mistero, dentro un enigma, ma forse è un chiave. Quella chiave è l'interesse nazionale russo. Non posso prevederti l'azione della Russia. È un indovinello a volte in un mistero, dentro in una linea, a volte c'è una chiave. Quella chiave è l'interesse nazionale russo. Oh, well. That's a little rough. Last uh, but not least, I will attempt Hawaiian, because we have much Hawaiian blood in our family now by marriage. Uh, So, it's with love that I do this. Aole hiki iauke homo apopo iaoe ikahana a Russia. Hinane ia ua naki naki a ikahi mea pohihihi. Iloko o kahi enigma. Aka aia paha he ki. O ke la ki kamana onui. Ona Alpuni Yukini. Aole Hiki Iaoke Ola Ha Ia Ika Hana Arasia Nana Iawa Naki Naki Ia Kahi Ahahihi Iloka Kahi Ninga Aka Aya Haha Heki Oke La Ki Ka Ana onui ona ahuni lukini. So, in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, there's some, some pro profound truth that was uh, laid before you today. Some languages are easier to speak without using your lips, some are harder. There's something profound about this. I remember being in Japan and uh, having uh, kind of a rough, gruff uh, taxi driver talk to, to me and uh, it didn't appear as he was moving his, his mouth. Now you didn't so I'm going to buy a lot of things. I'm not going to buy a lot of things. I'm not going to buy a lot of things. Anyways, although there's a few B's and M's or your lips uh, must come together, but you can almost say them without it. Uh, so, English it's not quite uh, that easy to do. I would like to ask you all to ponder the deeper meaning. And be thankful for your lips. It does make it easier to talk. Yes, it does. Depending on the language you speak, it's more more helpful in some languages than others, but thank you for listening, and good night.